can go with the with the Gale's technology. I have the, all the possibility. Just just concentrate which technology you require in your company requirements. What which which technology stack you are working, and then depend on uh, your technology stack. Because I am coming from the really Java and Groovy uh, technology stack. That's why I have a really less working experience with the font and technology. But uh, still, I am running. Uh, I am learning. The, this font and technology with the JavaScript based framework technologies like Angular and React uh, and font and, font and development technologies. So we got the overall idea of what, what we need, what we did, and what I'm trying to continue uh, the, the functionalities, exactly the same functionalities that I have written there into the my 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 originals uh, original functionalities from the really really original functionalities from the screencast number 35s and then i published the, all the the new functionality as, as with the based on the replet and this is the based on the this is the functionality based on the on the open layers functionalities and that's why the user says also oh, it is it is really really understanding that is hard to understand the very beginner and that's why they are asking me to, to segregate the, the geo functionalities and non geo functionality. That's why I'm trying to put uh, the, the functionalities which segregate or divide the modularize these functionalities like with liplet and with the open layers, but the functionality is still the same. This is the really, really big enterprise level applications. If I look for this one, you see the really, really big enterprise level applications. All the register plots, buildings, you can see everything what you need to do. And that's the that's the that's that's how we expect it for the enterprise level applications, and that's that's I mean, and then that's why the user said, okay, I need the really really segregate segregate those functionalities from the out of the enterprise level application. That's making this application smaller, smaller than the the from the beginner level can understand the words I mean, how they can start the developments. So. We, you need to install the Node.js and then you need to Angular CLI. I will show you later in the, in the presentations. And you need to be installed the uh, Geo server if, if you need the Geo server to the to the to the applications. And then you have to collect the, your Geo Geo data uh, from the Geo fabric and put it this Geo data into the GIS and put GIS database and call that database into the Geo server and call the services into the your 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 your, your maps and then and then yeah, yeah then you can visualize also the for your your, your layers into the into the your in the, in the geo server ui services so now we, we go back to the our original projects like we that's i said this is the my the real enterprise level projects and then this is the my the 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 uh, the leaflet uh, open layer based project that I'm trying to do with you today, the continuation, the screencast number, how can you start? And this is the, the project of the uh, leaflet based projects. And that's you can continue with the, the leaflet based all, almost done the screencast. I have some part of the screencast is missing because I didn't have enough time to do that one, but I will I will do later for the screencast. But you can continue. That is a, a, a one to eight videos from from very beginning level to the end levels you can follow the screencast number uh, two and then now i'm trying to continue the screencast number sevens from very beginning to the from the development stage and then you can continue with the, this one let's have a start the, the development to uh, development stage so so that's 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 what we already covered. So we we look for the, the our, our very beginning applications. We already published some some screencasts about the the leaflet based uh, uh, API uh, JavaScript API functionality. How can you do the same functionality leaflets? And now and today I'm trying to continue the 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 open layer based implementations. So you see that the same picture that I already show, I already show you. I discuss about that one. How can you publish your your geospatial data set and a geo server and then call the geo services into the your your maps? And you can see that the, your your applications and port number applications. And this is the installations. Uh, I will show you when the installation is, is started. So what you need, you need to install the Node.js. That's I already discussed this in detail. How can you get the Node.js? 
and install the Node.js. Very, very simple. Just look for the screencast number uh, two. There's a detailed discussion when I did the leaflet based developments. The Angular CLI, you just install the Angular CLI and you just make a new projects like NG, NG projects, new geo spatials, and then you can CD, go to the you directory where you make it, like I have in the in my C directory and then GSP, geospatial directory. And then after that, you just need to install the uh, install the uh, installation where the open layers, just very simple. Just NPM install OL or the additional NGX open layer libraries, just install that one. And then if install everything is done, then you can start the projects, very simple. That means you need to installation the Node.js, you need the Angular CLI, and you, you you make the new projects like ng new project what you like to name the name it like here and then geospatial and like name it and then you have installed the the necessary libraries from the open layers and from the older one was the install the leaflets just look for the screencast number two and you can get the proper ideas and this is the that's, the, that's i need some little bit discussion because i did the leaflet discussion and let's let's go to the the web page how can how can I, I give it a really short overview how it is works how the api design works and what what need to be you have to understand how you have to be handle those things so if i if you go to the web page the open layers uh, uh, open layers api uh, web pages open layer.org and then this is the version number 6.30 uh, 3.6.3.1 sorry and this you see the API sections, there's many examples like a lot of example, how can you do the possibilities, all things you can search it and then example things. But I am not interested in that one, I am interested only the API part to, to give it to you for the really overview of ideas. So you have a maps, map APIs, uh, some part of the really core APIs, you see the overview and creation event. You have a control APIs, the map control API, default controls, all set of controls APIs. Uh, and then you have a projection, some projection APIs. Sometimes you need to be uh, transform the projection systems like from the from the Google projection system and then also the EPS, uh, EPSG projection system. If you look for them, different projection transformation, you need to this, this projection libraries. And this is the view libraries. This is the view libraries for the but I will show you in the in my development every 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 issues I use here I will discuss later when I start the developments. The view you can have the view view API you can fix the center of the of the maps and then you have a projections resolution the rotation of the maps and the interactions it means you have a draw functionalities you have a modify function you have a selection functionalities and all interactions that you have observable objects. And that is the most important one layers. So and then you layering mean tile layers, image layers, vector layers, vector type layers, and sources and formats and different type of formats of data, W, GML format, KML format, and the, or, or, or W, uh, SBZ format, or, or Excel, or GeoJSON format, JSON format. There's a lot of possibilities to format this data. But, <coughs> but you can look for that one. But but I give it to you the really, really block level, the API structure of the build. So maps, views, layers, controls, projections, interactions, and, and sources and formats. And that's, if I go to this, uh, the left side of the bar, you see the, all the definition of the, of the, of the libraries, uh, APIs libraries, the old JavaScript libraries. They are exactly the same libraries like Java. Java has a JR formats and Java libraries and C, C++ they have it and uh, exe files and DLL files that the same so you have a lot of the format possibility feature functionalities and then even though we have it there this is the formats you have a geojson format transformations maybe you need something json to the geojson or kml to the json the all possibility and kml gml and then you have gps possibility and then here see the KML and the yeah, and you have it. And then you have the IMs, I think so you have a WFS that I and that's I already talked about the geo server, the possibility in that the WFS, WFS, WMS, WCS, 